Hello everyone, Jeff Hoke, your Director of Fitness here with another Wellness Wednesday. So in our last video, we talked about dynamic stretching versus static stretching and how that is a preferable way to get your workout started. Today I want to talk about resistance training. We have a lot of people come into gym and, and they want to work on their arms or their abs or different movements. They do bicep curls, tricep pushdowns. Those are isometric movements. So you're just really working on one muscle group at a time. What we prefer you do is to do compound movements. And what a compound movement uh, does is it involves more than one muscle group. So I'm gonna demonstrate our favorite compound movements. So I'm gonna start with a pulling exercise, so a row, anything that involves a, a pull, like so, where I'm involving lats, rhomboids, and I'm getting some biceps, so I'm also getting some arm. I'm gonna do some pushing movements. So our pushing movements involve pressing, just like this. So I'm working a lot of chest, but I'm also getting some shoulders and some triceps. And then for lower body, we like to do squats and then add some weight. Oh, kettlebell, dumbbells, lunges are also very good. So now I'm working with those movements, quads, hamstrings, and glutes. So those are more beneficial for many reasons. One, they're more functional. They're good for posture, and they're involving all these muscle groups, and they're burning a lot more calories. They're gonna boost your metabolism. So try those exercises. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by and ask one of our fitness professionals for some help. All right, guys, see you next time.